Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner News. I'm UK Gamer 88 and today we have a catch up on frenzy of release dates. We have a release date for the next gen update, well, estimated release dates, the Crocodile Pack and also Season 7 Compete and Conquer. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you details on how to learn to mod. Me and Iceberg have been working on a project where you're going to get the model, which is going to be a nice little Nissan Patrol, and he's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. Already done about 12 hours of video showing you how to mod that, so we'll supply you with the model and give you the videos to get you to get it done. But first, we have the awaited 16.1 update, where how it goes is there's a season or a phase comes out, and then there's an update in between, and that's what we're waiting for at the moment. 16.1 update is a bug fix. Now, it, it did make me laugh where one of the devs was asked, will it sort out co-op connectivity issues? And he said, it should. <laughs> Beaming with confidence, really was. Anyway, so that's meant to be a bug fix. With that, we haven't got a date for it, but we have, because we know that the Crocodile Pack, they're saying that's going to come out on the 1st of March. Now, for the Crocodile Pack to come out, you need to have the update for 16.1. So that tells us it's going to be here in the next week. And if that changes, I will let you know. Now, the next release date for the next gen update, which has been long awaited for, well, a bloody long time anyway. And they're saying that's going to be the 8th of April. And as you can see, there's going to be more and more websites showing this, that there is actually a specific next-gen update game you buy instead of buying the standard one. Now, that's coming, and we know that first, that has to come with Season 7, which tells us that Season 7 is going to be on the 8th of April. Now, Season 7 Compete and Conquer isn't even on the PTS. Now, if you go, no, oh, what's the PTS? It's the public test server, where you could, the game's tested on PC, and then it normally takes four to six weeks before it comes out on the live game but that could change anyhow i will keep you updated if it does so moving on well originally it was when it came out the 22nd of february but they did say um a, a, it was a while back that they it is delayed by about two months so it means that season eight we're probably not going to see that till at least june july time something like that but as soon as we know more i will let you know then moving on the jeep was in the video is old drifters first mod he's got that on um, mod IO, we put that up the other day. This is the first bit of testing. I've been doing it. He joined the 808 modding team last year, and this is his first mod to be released as soon as testing has finished. Now, the other one is uh, Have you seen Icebergs Carax 8x8? Now, that went live on Sunday, and he is working on the console version of that, the unbranded one, and that will be coming as soon as it is done. Then, he's also got his. SUV. He did a Range Rover Valair, same model I've got basically, but obviously now he's stepped it up, so I've got to do a half decent one because it looks really nice. Fair play. Now, on the last video, I showed you details on the next DRC after the Crocodile Pack was the Land Rovers, the dual pack where we're getting two new Land Rovers. And they, well, we, they will just be dropped. I doubt we will get any word on them whatsoever. It will be, hey, look at these. So that will be coming probably after Season 7 drops. It could even come when Season 7 drops as well. So last item of the day was learn how to mod. And basically, Iceberg's done quite a few videos for me showing me how to do certain things. And we've been trying to put together a start to finish. And we started it over the weekend and he's managed to do it. And um, we've got a lot of editing to do. Basically, Iceberg's done the videos. Then I'm going to do a few separate videos to break it, things down a little bit more. Now, he's going to be using Blender. And he's kindly donating the model to everyone, which is the Nissan Patrol. As soon as you can get that, you get into Blender and step-by-step -step instructions on how to mod. Now, if you've never used Blender before, then you're going to find it a bit of a nightmare. So you're better off, even if you, you haven't done any modding go and do there's one tutorial for how to make a donut do something like that because if you don't know blender then you're not going to be able to learn a mod that is the main point of it if you don't know blender then you can't make mods simple as so that will be coming in the next few weeks now we've got a lot of editing to do and to put it all together and as, so if that interests you let us know in the comments now if you want to stay updated with it all as well then we're going to have in our Discord group, we've got the 808 Modding Discord and the Delta Modding Discord, and we're going to have 
a section in there for answering any questions. So hopefully if there's something you get stuck on as well, you should be able to go back and that out, somebody's already answered it. So you can keep pro progressing with making mods because half of the battle is with mods is to keep that progress. As soon as you keep that progress all the time, you, you stay interested. But if you get somewhere and get stuck for days, then you do lose interest very quickly. And bear in mind, it takes a while to learn to mod. It's not something you're gonna pick up overnight. If you're into your programming, then that will help. And if you've done any 3D modeling or anything like that, then you'll be laughing anyway. But if you haven't, be prepared for it to take a bit of time. So that'll be coming over the next few weeks. Now the links for Discord are in the description. And I got I used to do these videos really because I wanted to get back into modding myself. I haven't over the last few months I've only spent a few hours here and there where I need to be spending a lot more time as I've got quite a few models and they need to be finished and get them released. So that is the plan for 8 modern. Now we're always looking for new people to join the 8 modern team as we want to expand. And the more knowledge we've got, the better it is. It's always nicer to ask somebody for help. And because if you can't ask for help, then you can't progress. Simple as that. Right now, we're all quite, well, we are sort of older generation. So if that interests you, then drop me a, drop us a message on Discord, either me or Iceberg. Now on Discord, my name is UK Gamer, and it's not UK Gamer, 808. Right oh. Right, before I go, I've got to say a big thank you for if you got this far. We've gone over the 19,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Never even thought I'd get a few thousand, and here we are knocking on the door for 20,000. So, with big thanks for everyone who watches and contributes to the channel. And we're going to get some regular streaming going on. I've got quite a lot of work going on at the moment, but I am managing to... Well, this new job I started in the next few days, I'll be getting back a lot earlier. So hopefully I can get on some streaming because that's what I haven't been able to do lately. I've been having some issues after downloading Windows 11 for PC, but I've managed to get all that sorted now. So normal service will resume very shortly. Big thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.